Good morning lovelies, Zoe 2 with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today we're gonna go through my updated shiny collection. So if you guys would like to see any of my previous shiny collection videos I will link them uh, up here and in the description down below as well. Uh, I'm gonna pick some different stories and some different feature shinies to go over this time so if there's one that you see that you think is interesting but you don't hear the story about it, uh, peep the previous videos as I may have gone over some of these before, uh, some of the Comday ones and some of like my really really special encounters so I'm gonna pick some different ones to share with you this time. Just a reminder as well I am currently away on holiday uh, so these have all been pre-filmed so I will not be recording any of the Valentine's event stuff but if you want to stay up to date with any of my goings on while I'm away uh, please be sure to follow over on Instagram and on Twitter I'll be posting some holiday and travel pics over on there uh, and any news related stuff will be over on Twitter. So let's jump into it here's the ones that I'm sure you guys have seen a billion times before, um, I guess also as a baseline, currently sitting on 427 shinies. Um, it's, you know, if I had never traded or transferred, it would definitely be higher. I've transferred a lot of shinies. I've transferred a ton into uh, Let's Go when that was available as well and traded those out to other people. When Pokemon Home comes out, I'll probably put a lot more of these in there as well and then share them through Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, but for the most part, I, this is what I'm sitting at the moment. I, I'm probably overdue for a bit of a tidy as well. Here are the ones you guys have probably all seen before as well. The Pikachu Com Day, the Dratini Com Day, my first wild shinies being the Aron and Agron within a week of each other. Pretty cool. A uh, whole bunch of other, I mean, look, you can basically say my first stack is all Com Day stuff, really. <laughs> The first one that we're going to talk about especially though is my level 40, my big Waylord. This, oh my god, look at him, he's just like a big fat Tic Tac. It's amazing. This bad boy is the Pokemon that I evolved to hit level 40. So uh, the Friendship came out in the game just before uh, Go Fest Chicago, my first one going, so 2018. Uh, and I was going to try and hit level 40 at Go Fest Chicago, um, just through XP. I kind of like had like lined it all up and planned what I needed to do. And then Friendship came out. And I was hitting great friend, great friend, great friend. It was just 10K XP, 10K XP, 10K. It was just like, it went so, so fast that there was no way uh, that I couldn't hit 40 before GoFest unless I just stopped playing for two weeks. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that. So we did a fun little live stream and evolved this bad boy from Whalmer up to Whalelord, just as a fun, big level 40 thing to do. So it was the exact amount of XP to push me over. To, to level 40, it was a really fun live stream. That was like really early days for my channel as well. And you know, that, that GoFest was the first time meeting any of the other content creators in person, meeting a whole bunch of you guys in person, like probably like meeting fans and community and stuff like that. So it was a pretty crazy experience. This is probably the, the last, you know, <laughs> regular chill, uh, low key live stream that I ever did on my channel was the hitting level 40. Because after that, it's all just been crazy town, which I love too. Whole bunch of fun little event ones here as well. A few of the Safari Zone ones with the Roselia, um, Articuno Raid Day, other Com Days here. Whole variety of different stuff. The Eevee Com Day, I went pretty good. I've traded a lot of those away as well. But we don't need to trade some back to have some to evolve all the varieties, but that's okay. Got a couple of fun stories about these Honch Crows and the Ho-Oh -Oh as well. So that was in a previous video though, so I won't re-go really over it. And then all the way up here into Japan. So this was, uh, this kind of chunk here is in Japan. This Magikarp was my first ever shiny Magikarp. Nothing too dramatic, but it is considering 2018. Magikarp was the first shiny in Pokemon Go and oh my, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. It like, oh my gosh, it took me so, so long to find my first ever shiny Magikarp and I found it in Kyoto, Japan as well. I always kind of like made the joke like, um, or even just said I really wanted to photograph shiny Magikarp in Kyoto at the Golden Pavilion, uh, Kinkakuji Temple. I, I would, Kinkakuji, I would love to we didn't actually go on this trip, but I would love to take this magic up there and photograph it there. Uh, I've, like, you know, Kyoto just has all these gorgeous koi ponds and golden koi. So getting this one in Japan was fantastic to add to that. Um, totally unexpected, but incredibly special that it kind of lined up with that visual aesthetic in my head of where I would like to get this one. Scrolling along a whole bunch more com days and things. This guy here was very, very happy to get this one. It was a few days into that hatted Pikachu event. I don't know if we'll ever see this Pikachu come back, the uh, Thunderbolt Project Pikachu. I would really love to just buy one of these hats or one of their cool designs. They have these really fun, like Pikachu and Mew, black and white, like fusion kind of designs, really cool. 
check them out on Instagram if you want to as well, find about project. Um, but pretty stoked to get this little cutie. She's adorable. I love her little hat. And again, yeah, I don't know if we'll ever see these ones back in the game. So a fairly rare one and I'm pretty stoked that I got it. This, <laughs> this one here, pretty basic story. I was hunting like a madman during the Halloween event down in Melbourne in 2018. I uh, was feeling pretty average, put on the Go Plus, went to go buy tampons, Go Plus to this guy. He looks like a tampon. It's kind of funny. That's about as deep as that story goes. But uh, God, I love shiny Drifloon. It's a fantastic shiny and very lucky to have um, Go Plus to this bad boy. Scrolling up, oh my God, the amount of, please someone take these Meteor Mash Metagross off my hands, please, please. This one here, my first ever Shundo. First ever Shundo. 100% uh, Blastoise. It was on a lure, I believe, or an incense. Uh, this was at Christmas-ish. It was the um, Com Day kind of weekend thing in 2018 when certain spawns like the previous Com Day Pokemon were increased overall. So really, really lucky to get this one. We were like going through a praise that later and I was like, wait a second, hello? HP attack defense exceeds my expectations. Uh, yeah, just a fun one. I've maxed it all the way out. Little champion. A whole bunch more in here. More com days. I think this was the, there was the second. This one here, I think you guys all know. I've already told this story a bunch of times as well, but shiny Togepi was my first ever shiny hatch. First ever shiny hatch, full stop at all in Pokemon. Like seriously. Uh, and couldn't be more fitting that Togepi is my favorite Pokemon. I. I think someone would have thought that I was like being murdered. I yelled that loud when I got this shiny. I was so, so, so happy to get shiny Togepi. I almost didn't film the clip because I was like having a bad day and I was like, I don't want to hatch these eggs, but I was like, oh, just do it. What if you get the shiny? And we did. And that was just like mood immediately increased. I still don't know who gave me this one though. Pasadena, California, USA. So on my previous phone, I don't think it said Pasadena. Because I, I, I think the on Android and that it displays the location differently. I don't know because a few people have said it's probably for Mystic 7, but I Don't I'm like so sure that I didn't open a gift from him that week It's in my head as that so I don't really know if anyone has any ideas of likely suspects uh, I would be greatly appreciative scroll and scroll and scroll and plenty of com days uh, Plenty of what was this one? It was a wild one. I think no, this is a trade trade from Dom the Feebas research day a couple of just other random shiny some trades This one is from uh, reversal. Yep. Nice to complete the set com days com days research days a lot of research Pokemon in here a couple of event Pokemon my second ever uh, baby shiny hatch as well from Panama. This little sweetheart. I'm not as much as I love baby Pokemon. I'm not super lucky with hatching them as shinies. Uh, I've done a lot of trading for my uh, shiny babies, which I don't know. Maybe I should have just tried to do it, you know, organic. But uh, the temptation. More com days in here. Some uh, Ludicolo from the Lotad research. Plenty of them up for trade if anyone needs spares or to complete their set. Bagon com day. Uh, Singapore Safari with the Dratini there, the Chili Crab, uh, the trade, my first ever lucky trade with Reversal, my first ever lucky trade full stop, happened to be with Reversal, we swapped Shuckles, shiny Shuckles, which was pretty fun. Whole bunch of trades in here, my 1 million Stardust Lapras, worth it, I love her. Whole bunch of different, just event, wild spawn ones here, more calm days, and then this cutie, this little dude. <sighs> You guys have been following for a while. You will know how many raids we did for Shinx. Goodness gracious. I actually filmed every single, uh, well not every single, but like 90% of my raids ever as like a just in case clip. And then I got way too lazy to like go and find them all and re-edit them down when I finally got this one. I put like five of them in the video, but um, oh my gosh, we did over 80, I think it was over 82, over 80 at least raids for our shiny Shinx, which is absolute madness. Absolute madness, probably, I mean, statistically on par, but whew, we finally got that one in. I would love to get the whole set or just to get a female one as well, because I love the female Shinx has the tiny little like fringe tuft. It's like a short little fluff. Uh, and she's also got the back feet as yellow instead of like black pants. So I would definitely love to have that little set there. I feel like this would look gorgeous as a lucky as well, like the gold on gold. Looks so nice. 
This one here as well was a really fun one, the Ghastly at Go Fest. This was so unexpected. Uh, I was having terrible, terrible shiny luck that day. Like this was several hours into the event and I had early access as well, uh, catching, checking, chatting with everyone. And I was just like, is my game broken? Please, I need to need to get some of them sparkles. And then one of our lovely good eggs in the community just sniped this one out of nowhere. Absolutely unexpected. Wasn't, you know, like a, a setup like, oh, you should touch this one for me. It was just pure goodness and such a fun shiny as well. Stoked to have this one. It's just like very, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those subtle, nice little changes, but it just, it it's just well-rounded. I like it. Another crazy one at GoFest as well was this Absol on the Go Plus. Uh, during the signing sessions as well at GoFest, um, uh, I pretty much just put on the Go Plus, put it on, like strapped it down so that it would catch the Pokemon. Uh, and then it was two hours of signing. So I was like, hopefully the Go Plus picks up something. I think I reconnected it once during the signing session. Uh, and I actually Go Plus, it's not pictured here, but I Go Plus two Shiny Poochiana. I've traded one of them. Uh, and then uh, go plus the Absol as well. So two Poochiana and an Absol during the signing session was insane. Plus because these ones are spawning in the wild, it's 102 CP. It is crazy tiny. Like you cannot get this from raids this small. You cannot hatch it from eggs this small. So it's a really unique uh, and kind of weird shiny to have, which I love. And as is tradition, the IVs are absolute cactus. So it's just, it's a fun one to have as a tiny shiny. Whole bunch more trades, evolutions, and things like that. Some Netherlands shinies, trade for the Togetic there. Uh, little Nainsha, my uh, Miffy, is from the Netherlands, where is uh, where well, Nainsha or Miffy originated from, the little bunny uh, children's books. Lucky trade for Amam here with Shiro. I need to evolve one of these at some point as well. I think I've got a second one eagerly buff that I can evolve. Whole bunch of Dortmund Safari trades and catches, the Marwals, Mwah, beautiful shinies. And then this really fun, this really, really fun lucky trade that we did with JT Gilly. Uh, I'm gonna link to the video for this one. I'm gonna link to all the videos in the description for all these shinies as well, like the ones that I've mentioned. But this was super, super fun. We actually became lucky friends uh, while we were in Germany. I think on the second or third day of the, the second or first day, of the safari. I had gone to bed and then Gilly's knocking on the door be like, Oi, is Zoe awake? We've hit lucky friends. Um, but I woke up to that to, to see the lucky friends. Uh, we went to the Sylph League, like the Sylph Arena uh, PvP Cup for uh, the regionals, I think it was, for the European regionals. Uh, and we basically played it off like we weren't lucky friends. We went up the front, we're like, oh, can we do this, our special trade? Like, we're gonna film it, like hype the crowd up and stuff and basically pretended we weren't lucky friends. And we're like, oh, let's see if it went lucky, shiny Nidoran. And just like, you know, big over the top, silly reaction, like, no way. Everyone's like, that's so cool. And then it was just like for a bit of, bit of a fun, bit of a laugh, but really, really funny, enjoyable <laughs> experience. It was just a, a good, fun, fun time. So big old Nido King, I ended up evolving it. I was gonna keep it as a teeny tiny lucky Nidoran because it's so perfect and cute and pastel blue, but. I couldn't really pass up these IVs. It's, it's a pretty decent one. So I wouldn't mind actually evolving it and using it for whether it be jib attacking or maybe in raids. I know it's not the most optimal for raid battling, but I might as well get the use out of it, right? Also, Nido King looks so sick from the side. Look at that. Really cool Pokemon. Whole bunch more. We've got Comdays up here from the Swamperts in uh, Queensland. A few other little event ones, the uh, Ralts, Comday, plenty of these for trades. If you didn't get your whole set, please guys, let me know. If we meet in public, uh, I'm happy to trade some of these bad boys to you. Whole bunch that I need to evolve as well. And oh yeah, yeah, you guys know how hard I went trying to find that creamy little seal. It's such a beautiful shiny. I ended up caving in and trading <laughs> with the last hot sauce with uh, Tong in Japan. Uh, my decision was totally not clouded by delicious, delicious 7-Eleven beverages at all. No, how, how dare anyone insinuate that my uh, moral constitution on trading for this was compromised. Uh, but I'm so glad I got it. We got the lucky trade um, and I just love my little creamy seal. And then like a week or two, or probably more than a week. What's this? When was this happening? Uh, 8, 10 and then doo -doo -doo. Uh, 810 and then 829. So I mean, not, yeah, I mean like 19 days later, ended up getting the dugong uh, when I was strapped in and donating plasma, uh, like blood 
donating blood and plasma uh, at the blood donor center. So it was a nice little plasma shiny seal reward. Plus it's kind of the color of plasma as well. So I evolved that one all back to dugong. It's just, they're so, it's just pretty. They're very pretty, subtle shinies and I love them. Scrolling back down just briefly, uh, a couple of trades catches in here. Uh, a whole bunch of lucky trades that managed to pump out as well. Go plus to this bad boy in Japan was a nice little farewell last day shiny. Probably one of my last crazy stories was definitely these two wild Kangaskhan. So the day that these dropped in the game, uh, well actually not the day, the second day they dropped in the game. The first day I didn't see any, or I didn't really go hunting for them. The second day, this was my first check of the day. Went out of the house, went to go take down this gym that I was working on for gold. And I was just like, hello, we're starting the video now. Wild shiny Kangaskhan, absolutely insane. I checked another one, regular. I pulled over at McDonald's to get a coffee because it's decent in Australia. Uh, the Mac is coffee every now and then. And uh, I got this bad boy, it was the third Kangaskhan of the day. It was a shiny, so almost back to back shinies. Insanity, absolute insanity. I haven't seen one since, but oh my gosh, that was just like mind blown. I feel like that's the most Australian thing as well to catch a kangaroo in the Macca's car park. I don't know, That's, that seems like the most Australian way to get a shiny. <laughs> we got the Taurus out of the egg during that uh, event as well, which was pretty awesome. A few other really fun and unique ones in this little section too. The uh, Alolan Meowth was also during that 7K regional event. Um, I was really hoping for Farfest, but you know, is what it is. Whole bunch of fun ones here. Taiwan delivered a whole bunch of shinies. Uh, zero there is a trade as well. Also, we did eventually trade for this beautiful, beautiful, God, it's so beautiful. A little strawberry milk dark. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This one was from Nico uh, in Japan that we traded in uh, Taiwan. So I totally forgot that Taiwan had Farfetch'd as Wild Spawn. So I was just going crazy, trying to check as many as I could. Uh, Nick, trainer tips, got super lucky and got one of them in the wild. And I'm like, contain the salt. Zoe, be happy for your friends. But uh, we ended up trading for it anyway. So I'm so stoked to have this one. I need to take way more AR photos with it as well because it's such a pretty, Pretty shiny. More Com Day stuff. This was the Com Day I got a, the Trap Inch Com Day. I got um, the uh, Mankey and the Zigzagoon Wild as well, which was insane. A couple other fun hatches and catches, some raid shinies. Scrolling all the way up here, the 98 uh, Groudon was from a research breakthrough. My first ever shiny from a breakthrough, which is pretty crazy considering I have never skipped a day of research except for one day, I'm pretty sure. I think I've only skipped one day of research, I think. Uh, and that was possibly because of being robbed by the time zones. Normally I get, I don't, like I figured out the time zone thing when I travel, but um, that was my first one ever, which is crazy. 2019, wow, November. We're pretty much caught up now to the December com day for last year for 2019. Uh, the trade there for the extra cipher. Couple of fun ones out of research as well up here. Couple of cool Christmas ones, the holiday beanie one, the Skarmory on the Go Plus, as you guys would have seen recently. Uh, and now we're into 2020. So the Piplup Com Day, a whole bunch there. I did really, really well. Barboach on the Go Plus, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then the most recent set being the uh, Mincino Research Day, which I got very lucky with that too. I hatched three after the event was done, which was fantastic. They had picked up the eggs during the event, hatched them afterwards. And then my most recent one is this nice little trade, little shiny Cleffa. Um, Cleffa, I guess in terms of babies, wasn't ones that I was too desperate to hatch myself. Kind of wish that I hadn't traded for the Azurals though. I really kind of want to hatch them. So definitely I'm not going to trade for any more. I'm going to, you know, get my own ones. There's some other, you know, babies that I won't trade for. Like Bonsley, I want to hatch myself. Uh, Lucario, maybe. I don't know. I feel like that'd be fun to get with the lucky background. But there's just, yeah, some that I won't trade for because I want that, that excitement. I want that Togepi excitement of hatching that shiny. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed a little scroll through my shiny collection and a few new stories for them. Let me know in the comments down below one of your favorite shinies in your collection and a fun story to go with it. Did you have some crazy adventure that resulted in a shiny? Did you have a you know silly day out with friends and something got you a shiny? Or what is your you know most fun or interesting shiny story for something in your collection? As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.